Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be closing out my budget for the month of November and this is kind of my overview page where I begin, where I talk about my um, actual income for the month. So I don't know if you can kind of see it right here. I did, the only thing that differed between what I expected and what I actually got was um, some birthday money. So November is my birthday month and my parents transferred some birthday money into my account, which was $100. So that was an unexpected income source, I guess. So that was the only thing that differed from what I expected. So I'm just going to fill out the rest of this. So now, even before we begin the budget, I am already up $100 this month. And as you will see, that will quickly change. So here is just a quick overview of my spending for the month. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but all, most of my spending seems to be at the beginning of the week. And then the end of the week is like very, very bare, which I'm trying to get the beginning of the week a little bit more <laughs> closely to resemble the later half of the week. But this week or this week, this month was black friday cyber monday and if you've been watching my budget videos for a while you know that i have been saving up for a couple different items planning to purchase this month so i knew that this month would be i would spend more than i normally do not necessarily going over budget but just my outgoing cash would have been a little bit more than it normally is and that is kind of reflected as you can see here i have a lot more spending stickers down than i normally do so let me go back to october just so you can see like this this is a little bit closer to what a normal month looks like. And then this is November. So and obviously Thanksgiving was this day. So around Thanksgiving and a little before that, when the sale started was when I kind of got a little crazy. And you'll see how much I spent in just a minute. So I'm just going to quickly go over all of the budget lines here. So the first section is bills. These are fixed. Nothing changes here. The next section is variable. So I guess I'll just go line by line to kind of talk about it a little bit. So I've been saving up for a while to purchase Ancestry DNA. I expected $100 um, and it was on sale, at least the level. So there's two different levels. There's one that just does like Ancestry, like your genealogy. Um, and then there's another one that does that and a bunch of health stuff. So the one that I originally was going to purchase was just the Ancestry one. Um, and that was on sale from $100 to like $60, I want to say, um, around there. So I could have afforded it. But the other test with, with the health stuff was also on sale. And that was from like $180 to like $119 or something like that. So that was on sale as well. And... I was like, oh, it's only like $20 over budget. Like, eh, that's okay. Like, I might as well get it because I, I think it'll be interesting to look at some of the health benefits as well. However, there's freaking $10 shipping, which I had no idea. So that's why it ended up being around $30 over budget instead of just the normal 20, which again is fine. And the reason why I was okay with slightly going over slightly budget was because of this category here, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So this is money that I've been saving again throughout the entire year, knowing that I would spend more than I actually thought I would. So this was kind of my buffer for the month. So if I went over in anything else, I would pull from here, which is one of the reasons why I marked it as I spend zero, because I wanted it to count towards the extra money that I have to kind of absorb um, some of the money that I went over in another category. Because another way to write it would, I could have said, oh, I I expected hundred dollars. I spent hundred dollars, and then put that additional twenty eight spent in the Black Friday Cyber Monday category. But I thought that would be a little bit confusing to calculate and just more work on my end. So instead, I kept all the overages into that specific category, and then just absorbed that at the end with this category. So that's what this one is. FabFitFun. Um, I purchased this. It was I don't. It wasn't on sale, but when you buy like for the year subscription, it is a little bit cheaper. But if I waited like a few days, which obviously I didn't know at the time, but they had another sale on it. So I wish I waited, but at the end of the day, not a big deal. And I kind of just rounded up with the expected, so I basically was a penny off, but whatever, that's fine. Gas, as always, ten dollars. Global entry. So global entry and and um. Oh, I don't have it on here, but so just global entry. Um, I did not purchase it this month. My goal this month was to purchase or to renew my passport because it expires in May, I believe. And I did not do that either. So what I decided was because 
uh, around this time, obviously there's a lot more packages going in the mail and probably a little bit more now because people aren't one shopping in person and two, you know, visiting family and stuff. So there, I'm sure there's a lot more mail going on right now. And I just, I didn't really want to deal with the delays and it getting lost in the shuffle. So I just figured for both global entry and my passport renewal, I took that money and put it into a savings account. So it might as well earn some interest during this time. And then just wait until whenever to renew it. So I'm not going to be traveling anytime soon. So I figured it's okay to wait. Even if it expires, it's still okay because all the only thing I need to make sure is that that passport was issued within the last 15 years and it's only been 10 so far. So as long as I renew it within the next five years, it should be good. And I'm planning to travel internationally within five years. So it'll be done, just not right now. So this is a new uh, priority that I kind of move towards next year. The metro, as I've talked about a couple times before, um, I or where I live, the public transportation system has um, temporarily suspended any payments. So all rides on like the trains and the buses and stuff are free just to minimize points of contact. But because I don't know when they're going to start implementing like the fares again, I set aside some money for it just in case. And this month it didn't happen. So this is an extra twenty five dollars that I didn't spend, which is really nice. I have been saving up for Rosetta Stone for a while as well, and they went on sale from $199 to $189, so not that much, but $10 or $11. Um, it's still a big difference. So I went ahead and purchased the Rosetta Stone. It's the Unlimited Languages for Lifetime Pass. So I am pretty much set for life, and I'm really excited to start using it. And then lastly, my spending category, which I went way over budget, it's $133.88, and that is because, if I show you on here of this so similar to last month i purchased my flight home for the holidays and my parents said that they would help pay for or if not all of it um all the money for the flight but because they haven't paid me yet um i had to close out this month's budget so i ran it through my spending category which is like my unbudgeted miscellaneous category um and i was not planning to do that so i ran it through that which is why it was over otherwise it would have i only would have spent around i think like 30 or 20 dollars or so so um this money i will be getting back not this month which is again why i ran it through the budget but i will be getting it back and um it'll count as miscellaneous income whenever that happens so that is the only reason why this is over budget but again because i have this extra money here um it helped kind of absorb that amount so at the end of the day for my variable expenses i ended up being um, two hundred thirty-three dollars under budget, and again, that's mainly because of this Black Friday item. So, because I'm under budget by two hundred thirty-three dollars, I also have an additional whoops hundred dollars from my income. So, as of now, I am three hundred thirty-three dollars under budget, which is really nice. Now, next is the emergency fund, which we'll fill in after we get all of the um, categories calculated. Okay, so now that I'm actually doing this, I realized that there's some miscalculations going on. So all of these added up do not come to 1025 and that's because I, I actually forgot about my passport renewal, which is $110. So if you add $110 to all of this, that's where this number comes from. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how I forgot it, but I know this number is the correct number that um, it's supposed to be. So this is right, but this is wrong. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this to include the $110 that was missing that I forgot to enter to make this number actually accurate. So this should be 901.82, which means this should be 123.18. Okay, so now this number is right. So now I am actually um, under budget by $223.18. Okay. Okay, so here's where things get a little bleh. So I was pretty much, I didn't really spend in that many categories like I normally don't. I spent around $40 on clothes, $30 for Costco. Our Costco membership renewed this month and this was my half. I'll get back to crafting. Um, Aaron Condren, and I bought my... Uh, all, actually, all of my planners for the following year in this purchase. And um, 
the seasonal surprise box is included in this as well. And medical, I had to pay a copay and purchase some prescriptions. So overall, those are normal, well, with the exception of Aaron Condren. That's not normally that high, but still, the only thing that was really out of whack was the crafting. So, and this was where I knew that the vast majority of the Black Friday, Cyber Monday um, money that I've set aside will come from because this crafting category counts for like crafting. So like my scrapbooking, paper, stuff like that, but it also includes all of my sticker purchases. And I don't really purchase stickers that much throughout the year. I really only purchase for again, Black Friday sales or during the shops like anniversary sale. Cause those are usually the two biggest sales of the year. Um, and I don't think I really shopped at any anniversary sales that much this year, just because I, I know I have a lot of kits, but because I'm changing my planning style for next year, I kind of wanted to prepare for that. So I wanted to purchase some new items and there were just a lot of good sales going on this year. So I took advantage of them, which is why I went $338 over budget. So I'm going to subtract that from my over or my un, how much I'm under right now. I'm going to subtract that to see how much my net overage is for the month, which is 115.76, which is north, more than normal. But if you don't count the flight, which was around $170, I really am under budget by like 50, 60 or so dollars. And obviously I'm still going to count that flight. So this month I'm still going to count myself as being over budget. But if things went according to plan, I would be under budget. So anyway, so that's how it goes. So how I'm going to counteract that. Oh, actually, I want to go over my joint really quickly because joint does play a role as well. So we did go over in both variable expenses and house household expenses. But for some reason, we had like an extra hundred or so dollars in our joint account. Again, I don't know how that happened because everything added up, but we had extra money. So I took that extra money to kind of pay ourselves back for household to make this even as well as um, make us even for our variable expenses as well. So because we went over, I normally would pay half of that from my personal account to kind of balance out our joint account because there's two different bank accounts that we use. But because we had extra from wherever, who knows where it came from, but because we had extra in the joint account, I just used all of that. So all of this overage doesn't really impact my personal budget. So that's a good thing. So what I am going to do, because I had an extra $115. So obviously I'm not gonna put any additional into savings because I don't have any additional money. And then I think, let me write my new savings account total. It's $625. And then I'm gonna take this out of the emergency fund. So I'm gonna subtract $50. So I actually put zero in my emergency fund this month, which is kind of unfortunate. But again, because I'm taking money from the emergency fund to balance out my overage for my normal spending, when I do get reimbursed for those flights, all of that money will go directly into my emergency fund to kind of um, pay myself back. So I'm not super worried about that. And I'm going to have to, I don't know what the number is. Did I? I must have calculated it last. Oh, I did. Okay. So this money is actually slightly more, but be I have my emergency fund in two different bank accounts and it's, it's a little tricky right now. So it's actually a little bit more than this, but I'm just going to use this number because that's the number that I had written down last month. So um, it actually is actually lower than this because I still have, oops, I still have $65 to account for. So what I will end up doing is kind of rolling over this negative amount to next month's deposit of emergency fund. So next month, I'm putting more than $50. I'm putting $250. So instead of putting $250 in to account for this negative, I'll only put like, what does that come to? $190 around that. Um, and again, once I get reimbursed from my parents to pay for the flight, all of that will go directly into my emergency fund to pay myself back again. So that is all for my budget close. Oh, actually, I forgot to do this calculated. So I actually already did it, but I forgot what that number was. So I ended up being over by 
$115.84. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want this to be in black. Which means I was over by one eighteen oh eight. So again, $50 of this came from my emergency fund and the remainder will come from next month. So that is all for my November check-in um, this month. I am hoping December will be a little bit better to kind of end the year on a good note. Let me know how you guys did this month in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.